Spanish Missionary Church as will be celebrating Mama's birthday. I believe this birthday must come with your blessing. I believe so. It must come with your blessing. You know, uh, you, we cannot celebrate the servant of God and remain empty. Are you hearing me? Can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? When Elijah met a widow, the word of God said, that woman had nothing. There was no food left. Only the ones that she wanted to make for her and her son that day. And from there, they die in peace. But listen to what the servant of God said. Woman, go and make food for me first. Can you hear that? Huh? Are you hearing that? Go and do, make this for me first. If, uh, if it was me, I would say, at least make it for me and the child. But listen to the words of the prophet. For me first. There's something that you people you don't know. God will always say, my servant first. All the time. Because many of you, you don't know what pastors are carrying, isn't it? You don't know what pastors are going through. The only thing that we want is to wish to be a pastor. It's only when you climb the pulpit you realize it's not the fantasy you're thinking. It's a war. I'm sure you're hearing me. Huh? Yeah. So this week, as yes, we're going to be celebrating Mama's birthday, many of you here, I want you to go and buy gifts. You're going to do that? Huh? Yeah. You want to do that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. A servant of God first. Yeah. One day I told some brothers, I said, can I tell you something? One day I told some brother, I said, even if God can raise a small boy like this, I will respect that boy because I don't know what God has seen. I don't know. I don't know what God has seen that myself I can't see. And many of you, if you do that, you buy presents, you buy this. This, some of you here, that struggle will stop. Yeah. Sometimes ask yourself that question. Why did the servant of God say, Do, make food for me first? Because if the food touches the stomach of a prophet, everything multiplies. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm trying to tell you. Huh? I can't hear you. Amen. Amen. Many of you here, you don't know what is the meaning of a prophet. I'm telling you the truth. You don't know what is a prophet. That's why even myself, I've never called myself a prophet. And I will never do that. Because you don't know what is the meaning of this one being called a prophet from God. In the old days, the word of the Lord say, when a prophet comes to a certain area, everyone will start to shake. Everyone will be afraid. But look what is happening today. Look what is happening to our generation. Cursed generation. When I was in Namibia, I was telling people of Namibia that when I came to Charis, Daddy was not having money. But I respected him even when there was nothing. Because I know what is the meaning of a prophet. I know what is the meaning of a, a servant of God. And the word of God says, if you do that, 
You are going to do what? You are going to receive what? You are going to receive what? Huh? A what? A prophet's reward. Today, because I want to leave, I see many of you here at the end of this week. Yala saka presekata. Rika se italaya. I see you receiving a gift from God. I see the Spirit of God activating something on you. Lisaita Saraki Rokotoloya. Many of you, you need to pray and understand. Now, 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 if I know a calling on you, I respect you because I don't know what God has seen on you. Many people, they think we are coming to church now. No, as long as we've been here. The respect we have for our Father doesn't start now because there's a car, there's this, then. It started when there was nothing. Because I know how I was raised. Where I was born, if a pastor come, all of us, we vacate the house. We go and stand outside. And no one must enter there. That's how I grew up. Whether the man has got money or not. That's what I saw when I was growing up. If they make the food for the pastor, no one will enter in that house. All of us will be afraid. But look what is happening to us now. That's the reason why many of us will wish, but God will say, not you. Not you. Because even if we tell you God has called you, it is still a decision of God to anoint you. If God looks at you and says, not this one. When God has given us an opportunity to serve him, let us not be like the children of Eli. Who were the children of Eli, what they were doing in the church? Because now they had a father who was a pastor. They, they were mistreating people. When we are given an opportunity to serve in a ground that is fertile, let us be honest and truthful. And if we do that, that's how God will honor us. Sometimes we make things very difficult for God to honor us. God is a very complicated God, I'm telling you. Very complicated. Very complicated. God is very complicated. And there's one thing that God hates is disobedience. So as I'm closing, I'm praying that this week it's a special week for all of us. You know, you know when I'm speaking about this, I'm even feeling emotional because I'm looking at my journey where I come from. But you look at us now, you look at young people now, ah, my God, I have a prophet here, uh, Prophet Mauban. All the time, when I greet him, I say, Lekai. I'm sure I'm speaking the truth. I always say, Lekai. That's what I do all the time. I say, Lekai, Lekai. I will never say, Okai, 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 Okai. I will never do that. Ask him. Because I don't know what, what is it that God has seen in him that me, I must disrespect that. You are going to be cursed. He's here. Ask him. All, all the time, when he comes, I say, ah, lekai, lekai, papa, lekai. Lekai, papa, lekai. All the time. All the time. That's what I, I call uh, Prophet Mawa. Lekai, papa, lekai. Lekai, papa. Because 
What is it that God saw that people could not see? I'm sure I'm teaching you something. Huh? Am I communicating to you? Am I communicating? Let's lift up our hands. As I'm telling you this, many of you, God will honor you, but check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Don't allow the favor of God to be taken away from you. You know King Ahab? You know King Ahab, isn't it? When he died, who took over? Huh? Who took over when the king died? His servant. His servant. The servant. Because the servant was fearing God. Let's fear God all the time. Fearing God will make God to favor you. I'm sure you're hearing me. Let's lift up our hands. As I'm stretching my hand to you, Jesus, those who are ready to be obedient today, I want the power of anointing to fill them now. Now! Now, in the name of Jesus! Now! Be filled by the Holy Ghost. Be filled by the Holy Ghost. Receive that gift that you have been crying for. I say receive that spiritual gift you have been crying for. Receive now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. I see the glory of God descending on you. I see your enemies questioning you. And say, who gave you this type of power? I see something shining on you. And I'm hearing is the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. Today, those that have been undermining you, they will be under your feet. Those that have been wishing you, I'm giving them this last few minutes. Let the power of God rest upon your shoulders. You are the one that God wants to raise. I say you are the one that God wants to raise. And there's no demon that is going to stop that. There's no friend that is going to stop that. Oh, Jesus, lift up your hands. Let's clap hands for Holy Spirit.